So one of the things that you're gonna notice as soon as you turn on Microsoft Access is uh, this is a little interesting. Uh, we don't actually start off with anything. Uh, so what actually happens is because of the complexity of a database, uh, Microsoft Access isn't just going to magically uh, make a blank one for you. You actually have to specify it. Uh, instead of Microsoft Word, which opens up with a blank document, and Microsoft Excel, which opens up to a blank spreadsheet, we do not explicitly open up to a blank uh, database. We actually have to make one. And like always, you can see we have all of these different styles that we can work from. So I can make a project management one. I can uh, deal with uh, inventory if I'm a small mom and pop shop or bigger mom and pop shop. Uh, but as you can see, we have tons of these that we can build from. And look at that. Uh, desktop home inventory if you want to maybe keep track of your own inventory. But the one we want to focus in on is that blank desktop database. Now, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you, what do you want to name this? Well, we're going to at least kind of follow suit with uh, the textbook, and I'm going to call this Chatham. 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 Uh, now, what we're doing is we're going to deal with uh, building a nice little, uh, you know, uh, emergency care place. And so we're going to hit create. Now, again, if we look at this, notice we don't see much at all. So what do we want to go ahead and do? Well, the first thing you see is we do, now that we've created our blank database, it starts off with a blank table for us. So we need to go ahead and start to add in our data. Now notice, you see it says click to add. Basically, we need to specify uh, what the next thing is going to be inside of my database. Right now, I only have my ID for all my records. I need to go ahead and say, let's add in something. So if we click on this, you see we get a drop down menu with a few different options. We're going to go ahead and start with short text. Now again, just like I had mentioned, short text allows me to store uh, texts, numbers, symbols, uh, basically anything that you can find on your keyboard. So we're going to go ahead and call this one uh, patient ID. Now here's a lovely thing. Uh, if I go ahead and type enter or hit the enter key, it's actually going to move to the next uh, one. It's going to go ahead and do that click to add again because it understands uh, what's next. So this time we're going to go ahead and say, well, since we're dealing with the emergency care and we're dealing with our patient, when did they show up? When? Well, that's a kind of date time little concept. So I want to go ahead and select date and time. And we're going to actually call this one visit now here's the interesting thing I'm not gonna put a space I'm gonna say visit date capital D for the date but notice if you can I did not actually uh, put a space there now the reason behind this is it actually goes back uh, way back in the day uh, when we were designing out databases years decades ago uh, spaces were actually kind of uh, not something you did for your field names uh, because the computers back in the day couldn't handle that. Uh, they actually kind of reserved that for, oh, if you hit a space, that means you're doing something else. So we kind of still follow that same mentality. We, we do this uh, just because there are systems out there that still uh, deal with databases that might not be able to handle spaces. So we don't put spaces at least to keep in uh, the back of your head when you're doing your SAM assignments as well. Don't put spaces. You're going to get points taken off if you do spaces. So let's keep on hitting enter. So the next one I'm going to go ahead and say is we're going to do uh, a long text. Uh, actually, let's, yeah, why not? Long text. Now, this is obviously if we're going to the uh, urgent care, we probably have a reason for it. <clears throat> now that reason, it, whatever reason it is, it's probably going to be a long uh, laundry list. So we wanted to have a little bit more information. Now the last thing I want to do is we're going to also deal with uh, something known as a Boolean uh, data type. Now a Boolean data type basically means that it only has two potential uh, answers, yes or no, true or false. Boolean, it comes from George Boole, he was the kind of guy who built this logic. Uh, but again, that yes, no. Now you notice 
all of a sudden that yes no instead of just being blank like everybody else it was a checkbox all right that's interesting but it's something to kind of be aware of and we'll say we're looking at whether or not they were a walk-in or not now a walk-in meaning you know they just walked in they didn't call for a reservation or not now okay now we want to go ahead and start to flesh this out a little bit more except i do want to make one final change you see that id all the way over there where it says new well what that means is i can't change this i can't notice how i can't change that number well that's not good for me so i want to adjust that now notice when i clicked on it over here in the formatting section uh, that became active all of a sudden and at that data type section you see how it says auto number auto number means that it's going to automatically increment for our sake for this example for the the textbook i don't want it to automatically uh, increment numbers i actually want to kind of control that on my end so what i'm going to actually do is i'm going to drop click the drop down menu for that and i'm going to select short text short text that allows me now to type in my data the last thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to adjust what it's called instead of it being called id i'm actually going to right click which allows me to now go through a song and dance of options but i'm going to go with rename field and so i'm going to go ahead and rename this visit id because if we think about it any one patient can visit multiple times so i want to record every single time they do now before I start typing, the last thing I want to do is I want to save this table. Because if you notice, right now it still says table one. We'll get into typing in just a bit. So how I want to do this is I'm going to just select that little floppy diskette. You see we uh, get it up here. Or I can do control S. Or I can actually hit the close table option. You notice it's all the way over here on the right. Do you want to save changes to this? Yes, I do. And we're going to go ahead and call this table visit. 